inside the palace on the same day and on the same hour. This happens at a time when the president is embattled and when her critics are talking about a possible takeover of her vice president if and when she resigns. Interestingly, the president who is presently in power had for guests the women of the now generation, while the doubted future leader had for guests some bright minds of the next generation. Mrs. Arroyo celebrated International Women's Day with ladies from different sectors. She championed girl power and wooed them with projects that will answer the concern of Filipinas. Vice President De Castro, for his part, championed the cause of the youth by giving citations and scholarship grants to the top students of the land. The mourners rib Kamayan if he's already preparing to take over the palace. Okay, what are we to do but despite his denials, the distribution of calendars with his picture, which is reminiscent of scenes usually seen during campaign rallies, did not go unnoticed. The president belabored the point that women make better leaders than men. Kung tutuusin sa edukasyon, lamang pa nga tayo mga babae. Lamang din ang mga babae sa pagiging honor student. Sa kalusuga naman, mas mahaaba ang buhay ng mga Pilipina kaysa sa mga lalaking Pilipino. A message delivered to supporters and critics, and maybe most importantly, the man downstairs. Yeah. Jovi Francisco, ABC News. Plenty of students make it through college, and those few who do graduate may even get the feel of it, or may not even get the feel.